get it on a player wants Jeremy Corbyn to defeat Brexit. The ex-Labour Prime Minister claimed Britain had decided to relegate itself as a country with the Brexit vote. And he said Jeremy Corbyn should campaign to stop the entire process and forget about alienating the millions who wanted to exit the bloc. In a claim that will stagger leave voters across the country, Mr Blair said Brexit was not the answer to people's concerns over jobs and the NHS, saying it was just a Tory psychodrama. He claimed you can make a huge point of not just the destructive impact of Brexit, but the destructive impact of Brexit, because it's the distraction that means that this government has no time to deal with the health service. I think the key national priority right now is stopping Brexit. Tony Blair it's got no time to deal with the problems of poverty. It's got no time to deal with the problems of inequality. It's got time to deal with one thing only, the whole country has been pulled into this Tory psychodrama over Europe, and he claimed those at the top of his party had to be more robust and show leadership by convincing people it was correct to remain. In an interview with The Guardian, he said now of course, you'd have a huge fight. But you'd be fighting from a point of principle, Getty Tony Blair says millions of leavers are wrong think of what a galvanizing movement you would have in those circumstances, because you would actually be, well, for a start you'd be saying what's right, secondly, I think the impact on the Tories would be really profound, because you'd be driving a wedge right into the Tory division, and the Tories are a profoundly divided party, he went on, I actually believe stopping Brexit is the route to win power, it'd like to see a Labour government in power. But I think the key national priority right now is stopping Brexit. I would put it above everything else right now for the country. Getty Tony Blair is a Europhile Blair, who has been highly critical of the Corbyn regime, said much of Labour's boost in the election polls had been down to the dire performance of Theresa May. But he admitted Mr Corbyn had tapped into a feeling of disillusion with the status quo and claimed that could also defeat Brexit. He said we're in an era when people want change, I still believe you can mobilise people to vote for a vision of the future rather than two competing visions of the past, one that is this nostalgic nationalism, which is what the Brexit thing amounts to in the end, and the other, these old-style, leftist policies of the 60s, if this is the choice, OK, then people are going to choose between those things. But I still think we've got a huge number of people who don't really want either of those. His comments caused uproar on social media, with people on both sides of the political divide queuing up to lambast him for his record and calling him toxic. One tweeter wrote reviled former Prime Minister Tony Blair says he is committed to stopping Brexit. He has no respect for democracy and other blasted no one wants to hear what he has to say, end off, and firefighter union official Paul Embry branded the former PM delusional Mr Blair has repeatedly tried to intervene in the Brexit debate. He recently claimed Britons would change their mind about leaving once new facts emerged. In response, Exuka pleader Nigel Farage slammed him for having a brass neck.